So this is a standard or the annual service on the valence valent combi boiler. This is the EgoTech Plus. So the Plus has got the stainless steel heat exchanger. So the boiler gets drained down, clean all inside. And then we can recharge this part, which is called the expansion vessel. It should be done every year. These are the parts that I remove on a standard annual service. So the automatic air vent, this is stinking. This is the pressure sensor. Now this is co a very common fault on these boilers. Um, most valence and glowworms will have the same sensor. And you can see it's full of muck and what will happen, this will fail and give you F75 fault. But if we're taking out and cleaning it every year, we can avoid that. This is the magnetic filter, it's absolutely stinking. We wouldn't expect this much dirt on it, but it looks like it hasn't been cleaned out for years. Or we've got a very dirty system. And this is the condensate trap. And we have a look. There's a hell of a lot of muck. That's a lot more than you'd expect after a year. Now it's the first time I've been to this boiler. So it either hasn't been serviced for a long time. Or it hasn't been serviced properly. Now these are the parts clean. You can see the difference in the filter now. The automatic air vent was really, really dirty and what will happen, this float will, will, it won't rise up and we'll have a leak inside the boiler. So it's important we clean this every year. Every five years we'll need to go into the main heat exchanger so we can inspect and clean the electrodes, clean the main heat exchanger itself and we'll also replace the seals and the nuts around. Draining the boiler and pumping up the vessel is important as it'll prevent um, a loss of pressure so what will happen. This will fill up with water over a course of time and the water will have nowhere to expand to so the boiler will release water via the safety valve and then we'll experience a drop in pressure very common so this is why I do this every year. With the valent boilers we can do an air purge which is very handy for after working so so we go into the purge you're just turning it on whilst holding plus and then there's our P0 which will give us, which will vent any air out of the system because we've drained the boiler. It's important we do this. Also then go around and give the, the rads a good bleed. The one radiator wasn't heating up so I'm just using the thermal camera just to check that my repair has worked. Last part of the job would be doing all our safety checks, checking the combustion, seeing if the gas valve needs adjusting, checking our pressures in our carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, etc. We'll fill out the service sheet detailing all the work and we're ready for next year.